Hi hey there. In this demonstration, we'll see how to do box plots with SPSS, and um, we'll do we'll show you how to do um, a single box plot and then side by side box plots, depending on whether um, your data is in two columns or one column. So let's start off with a nice simple single box plot, and we'll look at this data over here. So what I have here is um, 16 students. Right, the first column is the student ID or the student number and then we have a quiz 1 score and a quiz 2 score right and notice quiz 1 and quiz 2 if you go to variable view those are scale and measure and then the student ID or the student number is nominal because it's not really it is a numeric value but it's not really something you would measure okay so suppose I want to get the box plot for the quiz 1 scores for all of the students really easy to do I'm going to go to graphs, I'll go to the chart builder, I'll click OK because I have properly defined my variables and um, I've already done this one so a lot of this stuff is already filled in but what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to box plot, highlight that and then you get these three options. You wanna go with the um, the first one, the one on the far left, left, the simple box plot and you'll slide it up into the canvas. If the canvas is empty um, it will suddenly appear there. I had already done it, so it, it isn't empty. Um, okay, and so the x-axis, all I'm going to do is quiz one score, so I'm not going to really put anything in for my x-axis, but for the y-axis, that will be the actual quiz one scores. Easy, simple, uh, little click and drag, and you're ready to go. Click OK, and in your statistics viewer, it produces the box plot. All right. And there's something worth pointing out here about a box plot. The, the middle line is the median, that's Q1 and Q2. And with SPSS, it takes all outliers and um, puts them in, in the form of a dot, right? It's beyond the actual whisker. And that one there indicates that that outlier occurs um, at index one. It's, it's data, um, data case one, right? And that's this 15 over here. Um, and SPSS determines their outliers in terms of interquartile ranges, which is actually the the width or, or the distance from the bottom to the top of this box. And and if it's more than one and a half interquartile ranges or box distances from the bottom, so if you go one and a half, that points below one and more than one and a half interquartile ranges below Q1. So that's how it defines outliers. It doesn't include them in the whisker and instead puts the dot with the index of which um, case it is. Okay, but more than likely you're going to want to get um, two side-by-side -side box plots so you can make some comparisons. Right, so in this case my data is in standard um, SBSS format where each row is a case, in this case each row is a student, and each column is a variable, the student ID, the quiz 1 score, and the quiz 2 score. We should be able to get these two variables in a side-by-side -side box plot right? because we have the data in the proper format. Now I was unable, maybe it's possible, but I was unable to figure out how to do this with the chart builder but it's really easy if you go down to the legacy dialogs and you slide down to box plot and we're going to do simple and when you open this the default data in chart R question is summaries are grouped in cases. Um, but in this case, the actual summaries we want um, are separate variables, right? We have quiz one and quiz two. So you gotta make sure you, you click that button. And then we're gonna define, and when this opens, again, I've done this already, so they're there. When this opens, there won't be anything in, um, in this area, in this box. So the box that I wanna represent are the quiz one scores and the quiz two scores. And now I'm ready to go. I click OK. And notice on the x-axis I have quiz 1 scores. There's that outlier again. And the quiz 2 scores. And I have my side-by-side -side box plots on the same scale so you can really see and compare the difference between the Q1 scores and the Q2 scores. Now suppose I had all of my data in one column and the difference between um, the two box plots was in terms of a variable value. For example, what I mean by this is suppose I had, in this case, um, two sections taking the same quiz, for example. So I have section one 
I have uh, 16 students, and in section two, I have 18 students, right? And they each student took quiz one. So in this case, each row is a case. It represents a student, and um, and each column is a variable. It's the section the student is in, the student number, and the quiz one score. So now if I want to do side-by-side -side box plots where all the quiz scores are in one column, it's really quite easy to do. Um, I need to make sure my variables are defined okay, but um, notice the quiz one scores are numeric. Or not, they're numeric, but they're also scale and measure. But my section and my um, student IDs are nominal. Okay, back to the data view. This is really easy, and you can do it from the chart builder. If I go to chart builder, click OK. My variables are defined properly. Um, I'm actually going to choose the same thing um, as I did in my last demonstration. We're going to choose this, the um, simple box plot. I'd slide it up here. All right. And so now I'm going to put Q1, my dependent variable, as my y axis. And then down here, what's going to separate my different box plots are the section numbers, so two sections. So I put that down for x-axis. Category 1 being section 1, category 2 being section 2. All right. And now that I've done that, all I have to do is click OK. And now I have, it might take a second, there we go, my two sections, quiz 1 scores for section 1 over here, Quiz 1 scores for section 2 over here. And you compare the um, test scores between sections. And this data was found in one column. Right. So there's a few ways to create box plots, depending on whether your data is in two columns or one columns. Um, but it's good to get them side by side so that the same scale is on the y-axis and it makes comparing easy to do. All right. Box plots, SPSS, we're done. Bye.